Hi, my name is Jax Anderson, AKA The Psychotherapist. I'm a licensed professional counselor and owner of A Beautiful Journey. Do you want a stronger, healthier, more communicative relationship with your teenager? In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on changing your perspective so you can enjoy a stronger, healthier, more communicative relationship with your teenager. Number one, try switching your perspective. Instead of looking at the teenage years as the dreaded teenage years, oh no, what am I in for? Look at the teenage years as an opportunity for growth and creativity. When you switch your perspective in this manner, it helps you and your teenager. Number two, try treating your teenager like an adult in training rather than just a teenager. Be there as a guide and an assistant to help them set reasonable goals for themselves so they can feel successful. You can also encourage them to problem solve their own situations that they might get themselves into. You'd be surprised how many times teenagers will come up with even more strict rules for themselves than you would have thought of. Be there for assistance and a listening ear and guidance when needed, but more often than not, encourage them to ask you for assistance rather than being the Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It parent. Number three, invest in their creativity. Put your own ideas for your teenager aside. Allow them to blossom into who they're gonna be. Teenagers are always changing their mind, but that's the beauty of adolescence. They certainly need your guidance. They certainly need your supervision. But most of all, what's important to teenagers is your belief and your faith in them. Do you believe in your teenager? Do you have faith? that they can accomplish everything they set out to do? And do you communicate that belief and that faith to your teenager? Number four, in addition to being a parent, focus on being a mentor, a guide, a coach for your teenager who is an adult in training. When your teenager screws up, which they will, multiple times. Instead of focusing so much on punishment, focus on how can they take accountability and responsibility and problem solve. Certainly punishment has its place and that absolutely is the parent's job. However, if we approach the situation with a problem solving attitude, you might find that your teenager actually suggests something that they should have taken away or something that they should be grounded from. Recovering from making mistakes in this fashion allows your teenager to experience what it means to make mistakes and what it means to own up to those mistakes. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how to have a better, healthier, stronger, more communicative relationship with your teenager. If you have any questions, comment below or send me an email at the address on the screen. Before you leave, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos once a week. Again, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy parenting.